This video is over the climate zones. Notice that there are three different climate, zone, climate zones, polar, temperate, and tropical, and then they repeat again on the bottom with temperate and polar. We're going to go over a few things, a few facts about each climate zone, and then we're also going to talk a tiny bit about the ecosystems that you would find there. First is polar. The polar climate zone has low temperatures and it has very low precipitation in forms of ice. There are two basic ecosystems. You would find the tundra here, like Antarctica, and the alpine, which is basically a forest. In the polar zone, it is usually very, very cold. We have dark winters. There's not a lot of daylight. Oftentimes, you can spend most of the year in daylight. In the temperate zone, you get a tropical heat or an Arctic cold, so it's a little bit of both. It's more mild. So in other words, some places are gonna be very hot, some places are going to be very cold. We typically, once again, get hot, hot summers. We typically get hot summers and cold winters. There are a lot of ecosystems you can find here. Grasslands, forests, and plains are just a few of them. We typically live in between the temperate and tropical zone, depending on which map you're looking at. In the tropical zone, it's our biggest section, if you notice here. Polar is at the very top and at the very bottom. Temperate is right underneath polar or right on top of polar, depending on which side of the earth you're on. And then tropical falls into this whole middle part and it's split by the equator. Tropical is close to the equator. It is very hot, so they have very high temperatures. Depending on how far you are from this equator, you can get a lot of rain or very little rain. And just like the amount of precipitation you get, there's a pretty mixed ecosystem. You can have rainforest or deserts. Bubble has the biggest variety of plants and animals because of the different kinds of temperatures you can find in, the, in it. Okay, for these last two, we're just going to go on ahead and copy down these two again, just to remind us that they are split into two different pieces. When you're done, you're going to take this paper and you're going to fold it in half. You can write climate zones on the front 
and glue this in your journal. Make sure you're gluing the side that you did not write your title on. When it's glued in your journal, you should be able to open it up, read about the climate zones, and see the climate zones on the other side. 